Imagine a cosmic test that almost no one can pass. A test that determines whether you can join the galactic club or go extinct. That's the Great Filter Hypothesis, and it might explain why we're alone in the universe. Watch this video to see if we have passed the test or not. You know the Fermi paradox, right? It's the question that some curious minds wonder at some point in their life. Where are all the aliens? I mean, seriously, where are they? The universe is so big and old, there should be billions of civilizations out there. There, some of them much more advanced than us, but we don't see any signs of them. No radio signals, no megastructures, no flying saucers, nothing. It's like we're alone in this vast cosmic wasteland. So what's the story? Are we really the only clever creatures in the cosmos? Or are we just too oblivious to notice them? Or are they playing hard to get with us for some reason? Or maybe they're all six feet under? That's where the Great Filter Hypothesis comes in. It's a theory that says that there is some kind of obstacle or challenge that prevents most life forms from becoming interstellar civilizations. And this obstacle is so hard to overcome that almost no one makes it past it. But what is this obstacle? What is this Great Filter? Well, the truth is no one can say for certain. It's a riddle that keeps us up at night. This mysterious filter could take on various forms. Perhaps it's a natural catastrophe, like a giant asteroid impact or a supernova, capable of wiping out entire civilizations. Alternatively, it might be a biological challenge, like a deadly virus or a genetic dead end, that halts life's evolution. Yeah, like we haven't seen enough of those lately. Some even speculate it's a social crisis, involving scenarios like nuclear conflict or catastrophic climate change that could lead to the downfall of advanced societies. And let's not forget the technological nightmares like a rogue AI or a swarm of nanobots that threaten to take over the galaxy. Maybe it's something psychological like a loss of curiosity or a fear of the unknown that stops you from exploring the stars. The point is, whatever it is, it's bad. It's very bad. It's so bad that almost no one survives it. And that's why we don't see any aliens, because they're all gone. They all failed the test. Now you might be wondering, where are we in this scenario? Have we passed the Great Filter or not? Well, there are two possibilities. One theory suggests that we've already overcome the Great Filter, making us a rare and special case in the universe. That would mean that we have a bright future ahead of us as an interstellar civilization. They say that life needs very specific things to start and grow. A stable star and a comfy planet? Check. A protective atmosphere with a watery hangout? Check. A decent chemistry set and the ability to make copies of itself? Check. But here's the funny thing. Intelligence isn't on the list. In fact, most Earth life forms aren't exactly brainiacs or Nobel Prize winners. So how did we end up here? Well, it looks like we're the lucky result of some cosmic luck and a bunch of happy accidents that led to our existence. Who knew the universe had such a sense of humour? And if we've already conquered the Great Filter, it means we passed this enormous test in our distant past. So it must have been a tough challenge to overcome, but not an impossible one. The mystery likely revolves around the origins and evolution of life on Earth. But if that's the case, then why haven't we found any evidence of life on other planets? Well, the truth is, we may have already discovered some life forms on Mars and accidentally killed them. That's right, we could have wiped out alien life without even setting foot on the red planet. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit right now. Or am I? You'll have to watch our amazing video to find out. But don't go anywhere right now because things are about to get even more interesting. If life is so hard to start and develop, then why are we here? Are we really the result of a series of miraculous coincidences and lucky breaks? That doesn't sound very reassuring, does it? Some people argue that the Great Filter isn't a done deal. It might still be lurking ahead of us. Why? Well, because as they say, intelligence can be a double-edged sword. It comes with its baggage of risks and challenges like climate change, nuclear threats, pandemics, AI gone wild, nanotechnology, you name it. And if that isn't enough, intelligence doesn't guarantee wisdom or morality. Take a look around Earth and you'll find plenty of examples. They claim that we are the result of a freak accident of nature that will soon correct itself. But what if the Great Filter is not one big obstacle, but many smaller ones? Maybe there are different challenges the civilization has to face at different stages of its development. Some of them may be easy, but none of them are impossible or certain. We might have passed some of them already, but who knows what else is waiting for us in the future. For example, some scientists suggest that there are three major filters that separate us from becoming an advanced spacefaring civilization. First up, we've got the emergence of life from the non-living, a phenomenon that scientists call abiogenesis. It's not clear how often this happens in the universe or what conditions are 
required for it. Some estimate that it's very rare, while others think that it's inevitable, given enough time and chance. This filter may depend on factors such as organic molecules, liquid water, and a stable environment. Oh, and there's a wild theory that life might have arrived on Earth via meteorites or comets, a concept known as panspermia. But no matter how you look at it, without life, there's no shot at intelligence. The second filter is the development of intelligence from simple life forms, or what scientists call cognitive complexity. This is a remarkable phenomenon that we can observe in ourselves and other animals. It needs a bunch of stuff, some of which are like the ones for abiogenesis, such as organic molecules, water, and a stable environment. But it also involves other factors like energy sources, genetic variation, natural selection, and social interaction. Some scientists even speculate that intelligence may have evolved more than once on Earth, independently from each other. This occurrence is called convergent evolution. Imagine that, multiple origins of intelligence on our own planet. How amazing is that? And now the third challenge, survival of intelligence. You don't want to go through all the trouble of becoming smart just to blow yourself up, right? Existential risk is the name of the game. The stakes are high and it involves things like managing your tech, resources, disasters, space travel, and values. And here's a mind-blowing idea. Maybe some aliens have made it this far, but we just can't see them. It's like playing cosmic hide-and-seek with the universe. Now, we've checked off the first two boxes, life and intelligence, but can we nail the hat trick and pass the third filter? That's the million dollar question. And yes, we've got this. It is possible to pass the cosmic test and stay alive. Creativity, teamwork, kindness and bravery are the keys to deal with any problems. Learning from the past, different cultures and mistakes can guide the way forward. Dreaming of the stars is not enough. Going there is the goal. Imagine being space friends, reaching out to other life forms, helping them pass their tests too. The impact on the universe will be huge. Get ready for the big moment. The cosmic silence is about to break. Wow, I really sounded like a motivational speaker, didn't I? But let's not get too carried away. We still have a lot of work to do. And do you want to know how you can help us pass the challenge ahead of us? Well, you might not be ready for it, but here it comes. By liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Okay, guys, I'm joking, but I hope you consider it. I know it sounds like a cliche, but it's a huge support for us. Also, you can check out our other videos that cover very unique topics like black holes devouring stars or how aliens would see us. Trust me, it's worth it. Thanks for sticking around. See you soon for more awesome space videos.